Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I actually filmed a video and I am really happy to be back today with another studio vlog. I feel like it's been forever and there's a lot I want to catch you up on. Today is one of those days when I'm finally like back in my studio and I need to get physically organized, mentally organized, and get everything kind of in order and have a reset sort of day. So that's what we're doing today. I have got some cleaning and organizing to do in my space and I also want to do some planning and journaling and update you on a couple of things. Number one being that I did switch back to my iPhone a few days ago and if you've been around my channel you know that I've been using a flip phone. I have been using a dumb phone for about eight months now. I switched in August of 2021. Interestingly, around that time, I also started bullet journaling, and so this past week I actually switched to my phone and started picking up bullet journaling again. Both of these changes have just been a result of the fact that this month of May is kind of an unusual month for me. I have a lot of traveling going on, and I have a lot of lifestyle changes that are kind of going on and coming up, and like... I feel like everything is sort of up in the air right now and so the appeal of bullet journaling and having everything in one notebook is just exactly what I need right now. So I will show and tell a little bit more about that in a moment but to start I want to go ahead and clean up my studio a little bit and get organized so let's start with that. It's not really all that messy but for me I just feel a little bit chaotic in this space. Um, you may have seen in previous vlogs that I was working on this large painting here, and this is going to go in my living room. I decided to sort of completely change my plan and design for the painting and change the color palette. I'm happy with where it is going now, so um, I'm going to keep everything out, but I could pick up a few things on the floor here. And I also want to set up my pegboard. I got this from Ikea and some things to go on it, so we're going to set that up. So the goal is to set up a pegboard up here and get the items that I use to pack orders onto the pegboard. That way I can just have the table space clear for workspace. I was simply going to hang up the pegboard, but this is turning into a bigger project than I thought because I have to move the table in order to reach the pegboard. And my ultimate plan for this space was to get a shorter table that I can place more in front of the window. That way I can look out the window as I work. And this is the point in the project where I have to ask myself what I'm doing. But um, <laughs> I cleared a space over here, so I'm gonna get my pegboard set up. I got a number of accessories to go with it. So these are the things I have to organize and the things I have to organize them with. I think those are so neat. I was really set on putting my sticker samplers in those though and they don't fit. So I don't know, I have to find like something cute to go in there. Okay, this is the part I'm most excited about is putting these sticker rolls up. I think this is so cute. I'm gonna put it on the edge so I can easily pull stickers like this way. So I have my little sticker labels here. I have 
business cards, postcards, and sticker samplers. How cute is this corner now? Oh no. I thought for sure this thing would fit on the shelf because they're both from Ikea, but it does not. <laughs> but actually it will fit on my cube shelf. You can probably see now that that corner is so organized. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It's never looked that good, <laughs> but you can probably see why I want a shorter table because I really don't need the table to extend this far in front of the wall. I'd like to be able to walk straight up to that pegboard without a table in the way. And then as you can see, the table extends all the way over here, almost to the doorway of my office. So. I really just need maybe a four foot table, something small. I would love if it could raise and lower so I could use it with my laptop as a standing height. Okay, let's talk about the iPhone. Now I have quite a few videos about this on my channel so if you want to hear my thoughts in more depth, go check out my digital minimalism playlist. I will have that linked for you and I will continue to update that. But I have been using a dumb phone instead of a smartphone for the past eight months or so. And this week I turned my iPhone back on. I put my SIM card back in it, turned it on, and started to use it as my primary phone again. And at this point right now, I've decided I'm going to use my iPhone during the month of May and then kind of reevaluate. Um, I love using a dumb phone and I have loved my Sunbeam wireless flip phone especially. I think it's amazing and I just, I, I absolutely love the experience of using it as my phone. So I wouldn't be surprised if I do switch back to it. But for the month of May, I'm gonna use my iPhone. Um, I kind of made a list in my journal of the benefits and the features that I want to use my iPhone for. And those include FaceTime, especially when I'm on the go, being able to FaceTime from my phone is something that I've missed and I wanted to be able to do again at least for right now. So FaceTime, playing music in my car, playing videos on my TV, and a big one that is helping me to reach my personal goals right now is that the iPhone will track your steps and your miles walked. So currently I'm trying to make sure that I, number one, walk a minimum of 5,000 steps or two miles every day because I just feel the best when I do that. But honestly, I feel better the more that I walk. So I'm trying to incrementally build up my steps each day. And so far I'm doing really well and being able to track the steps on my iPhone is definitely motivating me. Something else I wrote down in my journal was make sure that using an iPhone doesn't distract me from my creativity at all. Having increased creativity is one of the things that I love the most about using my flip phone. I had so much more time for creative projects without the distraction of my phone. And so um, I'm continuing to do those things, including filming videos, working on my YouTube channel. That's something that's creative and fun for me, as well as film photography. I've been carrying around my film camera for the past few months, and I want to make sure I'm still doing that, even though this phone does have a camera. Um, film photography is fun, and it's a creative outlet, and I want to make sure that I'm not letting that go or letting that slide because I have this convenient device. And at the end of the month, I will definitely reevaluate and see what I want to do going forward, if it's working, if it's helping, hurting. Um, I would view this as an ex a 30 day experiment similar to my 30 day dumb phone experiment that got me started and turned into eight months of a dumb phone. So we'll see what happens with this phone, but I wanted to update you. So as I mentioned, I've jumped back into my bullet journal. This is the Leuchtsturm bullet journal. I believe it is the edition two. And it is probably my favorite type of bullet journal or notebook I've used yet. I really enjoy the paper and um, I did watercolor and ink here and you can see that it holds up really well. There's no bleeding or anything like that. And I just absolutely love it. So this was um, the day that I kind of 
switched over to my iPhone and started this journal here and I kind of just journal as I go day by day and I doodled in some flowers and leaves and then I set up a tracker for bills as well as some other monthly habits that I need to do each month and then I printed out some pictures from Pinterest and then this is the current week. Um, I'm trying a rolling weekly setup from um, that was inspired by plant-based bride I've been watching her videos um, on bullet journaling and so basically what you do is you set up Monday through Thursday on this page and then Friday through Sunday and then you have a column for tasks for the week I didn't set up mine exactly the way that she does I just wanted a plain to-do list here and then I'm tracking my dinners down here um, and then I like this because you can fold the page and so from any day of the week you can easily see your weekly tasks as well. So it's nice. I'm kind of just writing my tasks and then trying to journal at the bottom with whatever space I have left over. So yeah, that's what I have so far. I am loving the bullet journal and it's working very well for me. So I've been online looking at desks from Ikea. I taped out the size of the desk that I think I'm going to get just so that I could see if it works. And as far as on the right side, it's perfect. I have plenty of room to come over here and get to my shelf and get to my pegboard up there. So that works out nicely. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the doorway area. So if the desk sticks out to here, it doesn't leave me much space between my two desks. Um, but I could totally take this desk and push it over to the left. That cart doesn't really have to be there. Um, but yeah, I've just been, I've probably wasted a little bit too much time on the Ikea website trying to figure out the options because the desk that I actually wanted is sold out. And so I'm trying to figure out if I can use like the, the um, adjustable height base of one desk and then like put my own tabletop on it. But I don't know. Um, I couldn't find, I searched on YouTube because I could like to try to find if anyone else has used that exact combination and I couldn't so I might just order it and then see if it works. Otherwise I have just been scheduling a blog post for tomorrow and then I started scheduling Instagram posts again on Planoli. I really love that app and it's been a while since I've been posting consistently to Instagram so um, I'm scheduling out some posts and I decided to take a picture of my pegboard and post that um, but yeah that's what I'm doing um, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because the only thing left that I want to do today is just take the pictures and video off my camera and then start editing this video so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I hope you enjoyed seeing this kind of random vlog but I enjoyed catching up with you and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.